Hi, my name is Paul, and today we'll be showing you how incident coordination is done in Blameless. Your chat application is very important in your day to day. With Blameless, we keep you where you already are, which is in Slack. Once the incident has been declared, responders assemble in the incident Slack channel, where they can begin triaging and discussing how to best approach resolving the issue. One of the first things that you'll see is incident role assignments. Whether you have a robust incident management program with many incident roles, such as commander, communications lead, subject matter expert on call, or you're a lean team, and you just need a commander to lead the effort. Blameless can have custom roles available to be delegated out. Once a role is assigned, the users will be presented with a list of tasks associated to that role in order to help provide a repeatable, consistent response regardless of the owner. Most organizations will have a paging solution, which can be incorporated into the incident workflow. If you're in Slack, you can easily run the slash blameless on call command, which will provide a list of services or teams that you can page out to. Keeping the responders in Slack as the main interface for the incident, blameless helps reduce the number of windows that the users will need to interact with. As users are communicating and adding important information to the incident Slack channel, these eventually will need to be captured and recorded into an incident timeline. This can easily be done by reacting with an emoji to trigger the blameless spot to capture and add those details to the incident timeline. If screenshots are added, the bot will automatically add those for you. Action items will also come up during incidents, which can be created into JIRA directly from the incident Slack channel. By running slash blameless follow-up, users can specify the name of the ticket as well as the issue type and project in which it needs to go into. Blameless wants to make action item creation easier and ultimately enable better tracking for helping reduce similar incidents from happening again. As the incident progresses, Blameless's comms flow feature can be configured to provide relevant updates based on a number of various triggers, in the incident Slack channel, other channels to post an update in, and more. Once the incident is in a resolved state, all the information that was captured in the incident Slack channel can be used to help jumpstart the retrospective process. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at blameless.com.